if you're a Blender artist and you've always wondered how you can easily create roads by simply using geometry nodes alongside with a curve, then this video might just be the video for you. Ben has actually created something that is super nice and would save you so much time. This geometry node setup makes it super easy for you to simply use splines and build roads that contain street lights, high quality textures, rocks, and also a couple of parameters that you can tweak to your heart's content. So for anyone who would like to take a look at this, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download it and start playing with it. So how does this work? Once you download the road generator, what you would get is super, super nice. So we have this road setup that is pretty cool. This comes with an animation. So once we press the playback button, you can see that we have this leave animation. You barely see these things in any other road generator ever. Let's actually take this all the way to the top. Nice. So let's take a look at what this looks like when you hit the render button. This is what it looks like in Eevee. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So once we press the playback button one more time, you can see all the beautiful things are happening. Now, would you want to see what it looks like in cycles? Oh yes. So go over to cycles, hit that render and you have this. Now for the most part, you might be saying, okay, so how do you tweak this to your liking? You have a whole lot of options. So the very first option is this, that once you have this object selected and you press the tab key, you would notice that what drives this is curves, just like the name. It's curves to road, which is beautiful. So we can switch over and select any of these curves right here and we can move them around. So I would like to move this around, 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 and you can see we are making some very, very good roads. Now, in terms of creating yours, of course you can. So we would just simply switch all the way back and draw. And depending on what you want, you can get some good stuff. Draw this, you get that road. You want more roads, draw this, and you get that. You can also use the pen tool to get some very impressive things. So let's go ahead and select one node, switch to the pen, click, 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 and you have them right here. This is super, super interesting. It has the rocks that you need. It has all the bars on the road. At the same time, it has the light. The best thing about the light is this. Instead of selecting this light individually and making tweaks, you can go over to the instance object section. Let's switch from edit mode to object mode. All right, so we'll select the spotlight and we can now change the color of the light. So let's zoom all the way in and look at this right here. We can now choose to change the color of the light and you can see that. Now, in terms of other things that you can play with, if you select the object and you go over to your modifier section, you have every single thing that you need. The railing, you can play with the post length. So, you know, you want to play with the post length. I think this should be called distance. So I guess this should be called distance. So you can play with that. At the same time, you can choose to play with a count. So depending on how much light you want to have, you can have this, so you can have like a gazillion lights in this scene. All right. So you can just have them happening however you want. You would like to stretch the road. Okay. We can also do that. So you can choose to stretch the road however you want. And you can also compress this. One of the cool things here is not everybody would like a road that has rocks. And that is why you have an option to get rid of the rocks. So you can click on the X button and delete the rock collection from your scene. And what if you don't want the lamp post? Okay, you can also do the same thing. And right now you don't have any of that. And the customization doesn't end there. So if you like to customize or maybe do some stuff for the leaf, of course you can. So let's just go ahead and stop this. And you notice that we have these two static leaves here. So what you have to do is go over to the wind section, go to the leaves, turn this off. Okay, so once you do that, You'll be able to still have the leaves, but you know, not the main ones that you're scattering from or the ones that generate in this. But what we're looking for is expanding this. So you remember if I simply pop all the way back here and we press the tab key, for example, let's just take a look at this from the top view and make a scribbling like so. Okay. You can see what we have. So what we're looking for is how you can spread this. So what you need to do is select this object, press the tab key, and then you can go ahead and expand it. So if I also simply just grab this and drag it all the way to this point, select this other one and grab it all the way to this point, you see, we're expanding the leaf. You can also choose to extrude. I mean, that's an option. So you can choose to extrude. And in this case, we're just going to extrude towards this part and you can have that. You want to make the leaves a little bit more. Of course you can. What you need to do is just grab the leaves and go all the way here and you find all the parameters that you want. Say, for example, you want the falling direction to change. Okay. You want it left, right, back and forth. You can do that. Some noise influences, you know, we like adding those things 
to make it look very organic. You can also do that. Look at this. The rock itself are very unique sets of rock. And you can proceed to use the Curve 2 Road Generator to create some stunning visuals for your next scene. So this is more like it. For those who would like to take a look at some of the extra add-ons that you can use alongside with this, links to this is going to be in the description. At the same time, if you'd like to take a look at some of the things that Ben has created over time, links to that is also going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.